Hello everyone, uh, it's Jeremy. We're back with some more uh, Baldur's Gate, and we just got a book from Firebead entitled The History of the Dead Three, and this is, this is some good stuff. Um, okay, so we're going to read through this as we've been doing with all of the books, all of the new books that we find. In ages past, there was but one god of strife, death, and the dead, and he was known as Jurgal. Lord of the end of everything. Jurgal fomented and fed on the discord among mortals and the powers alike. When beings slew each other in their quest for power or in their hatred, he welcomed them into his shadowy kingdom of eternal gloom. As all things died, everything came to him eventually, and over time he built his power into a kingdom unchallenged by any other god. Eventually, however, he grew tired of his duties, for he knew them too well. Without challenge, there is nothing, and in nothingness, there is only gloom. In such a state, the difference between absolute power and absolute powerlessness was undetectable. During this dark era, there arose three powerful mortals, Bane, Baal, and Merkel, who lusted after the power Jurgle wielded. The trio forged an unholy pact, agreeing that they would dare to seek such ultimate power or die in the attempt. Over the length and breadth of the realms they strode, seeking powerful magic and spells and defying death at every turn. No matter what monster they confronted or what spells they braved, the three mortals emerged unscathed at every turn. Eventually, the trio destroyed one of the seven lost gods, and they each seized a portion of his divine essence for themselves. The trio then journeyed into the Grey Waste and sought out the Castle of Bone. Though through armies of skeletons, legions of zombies, hordes of hordes or non-corporeal of dead, I think that's supposed to be an of, little, little grammar error, and a gauntlet of liches they battled. A gauntlet of liches. Whew, that sounds rough. Eventually, they reached the object of their lifelong quest. The Bone Throne. Giggity. Fucking hell. I claim this throne of evil, shouted Bane the Tyrant. I'll destroy you before you can raise a finger, threatened Baal the Assassin. And I shall imprison your essence for eternity, promised Merkel the Necromancer. Jurgle arose from his throne with a weary expression and said, The throne is yours. I've grown weary of this empty power. Take it, if you wish. I promise to serve and guide you as your seneschal until you grow comfortable with the position. Before the stunned trio could react, the Lord of the Dead continued, Who among you shall rule? The trio immediately fell to fighting amongst themselves, while Jurgle looked on with indifference. When eventually it appeared that either they would all die of exhaustion or battle on for an eternity, the Lord of the End of Everything intervened. After all you have sacrificed, would you come away with nothing? Why don't you divide the portfolios of the office and engage in a game of skill for them? Wow. Bane, Baal, and Merkel considered the gods' offer and agreed. Jurgle took the heads of his three most powerful liches and gave them to the trio that they would compete by bowling the skulls. Each mortal rolled a skull across the gray waste, having agreed that the winner would be he who bowled the farthest. Malar, the Beast Lord, arrived to visit Jurgle at this moment, after quickly ascertaining that the winner of the contest would get all of Jurgle's power he chased off after the three skulls to make sure that the contest would be halted until he had a chance to participate for part of the prize. Bane, Ball, and Merkel again fell to fighting as it was obvious their sport was ruined. And again, Jurgle intervened. Why don't you allow Lady Luck to decide so you don't have to share with the beast? The trio agreed, and Jurgle broke off his skeletal finger bones and gave them to the players. When Malar returned from chasing the skulls, he found that the trio had just finished a game of knucklebones. Bane cried out triumphantly, As winner, I choose to rule for all eternity as the ultimate tyrant. I can induce hatred and strife at my whim, and all will bow down before me while in my kingdom. Merkel, who had won second place, declared, But I choose the dead, 
and by doing so, I truly win, because all you are lord over, Bane, will eventually be mine. All things must die, even gods. Ball, who finished third, demurred. I choose death, and it is by my hand that all that you rule, Lord Bane, will eventually pass to Lord Merkel. Both of you must pay honor to me and obey my wishes, since I can destroy your kingdom, Bane, by murdering your subjects, and I can starve your kingdom, Merkel, by staying my hand. Malar growled in frustration but could do nothing, and yet again, only the beasts were left for him. Poor Malar. Poor, poor Malar. And Jurgle merely smiled, for he had been delivered. That's a, that's a dumb story, but it's a great story, right? Like, we bowled the heads of the three strongest liches. That's how we got to, to this point. It's, uh, yeah, it's fun. Anyways, uh, oh, hold up. I got a call. Let me put a break in this recording real quick. You bet. Yep. Right. Hmm? Right. Greetings. Kagan, what can I do for you? Oh, you bet. This way. Oh, you bet. Oh, you bet. I'm gone. For the group. the store yep right yep i'm gone
boring. I'm gone. Uh huh? Oh, you bet. Oh, you bet. Go Ryan would be proud of your actions. Enough. This way. This way. Hey everybody, sorry I'm back. Uh, we have probably about six or seven minutes there where uh, there's no audio. I thought that I had turned the audio back on, but I had not. Um, there's not really much I can do about that, so... You said something? Welcome, my dear. You and I... Excuse me. Indeed, I'm expecting visitors, but none such as you be gone before my company arrives. I should not tolerate the mood being ruined by a band of miscreants. I'm oh, good. I serve the flaming, I serve the flaming fist. fist. I'm dead. He's going. He's gonna. He's gonna throw me in jail. What's up, Boomer? Uh, Rachel. Yep. Yeah. Have a good time. Have fun. Love you. Ooh. What? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. No. It has begun. No, what's you, happened? You will now get the sickness. I can feel it. All right, load game. Don't want to get. Uh, do not want to be punished for that. Right. I'm gone. Burns a Don't lot. Don't Clorox wipe your mouth. Well, don't, don't Clorox wipe. What is wrong with you? Clorox wiping. I'm, I'm sick. You know, take some airborne. Don't like burn your face off. I'm gone. Oh, Goodness today. gracious. Have fun. Be careful. Be safe. I love you. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Cool. All right. Got nothing there. Nothing there. Got, ooh, got stuff there. Nice. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to do stuff in my head. I think I have like 15 minutes left. Uh, I'm gone. Uh -huh. Oh, you bet. Yep. Okay. So, quick save, and we're going to go ahead and go into this location. I think there's another. Oh my god, game, really? I open the door. What do you expect? You think I don't oh, want to go inside when I open the door? Um, Jerlang, yeah. Jerlang steals stuff from us, doesn't he? I think he does. He's got. He's like. What is a thief to do, huh? You invest in some boots of stealth. You set up shop in the Badlands to the south of Barragost, and then wham! Along comes a tribe of hobgoblins, and they tear the boots. From right off your feet. Damn blasted bullies is what they are. And I'll pay a hundred gold to whoever can get them back to me. Oh, I will. Oh, look, it's it's just Dorden. And he took 15 gold from me. Come back here, you butthole. Hey, it's Valentir the Conjurer over there, is it? And he took another 30 gold. And he'll just keep... 
Uh, I don't know if there's an end to it. Uh, we'll do another one. Thalantir? Uh, no, I think he just he sticks on Thalantir and he, he just keeps stealing gold from me. Uh, thanks for the kind word. Farewell. Sorry. No. What do you have to sell? Uh, royal rent. Done. Go upstairs. So why are you upstairs? Everyone go upstairs. Spin. Kill me. Are better, good at done. Need me? For the group. Oh, I swear sometimes. Game! Uh -huh. Oh my it. god. Yep. Everyone, go downstairs. Yep. That's just stupid. Right. Go upstairs, talk Are to this bad. man. Hmm? Now what leave me be to fire wine with you. I hope you get scout. Firewine? What and where is that? Firewine Bridge Ruins is what I mean. She'd be pretty far to the south and east, but a strong pair of legs will get you there just fine. I'd make sure that they are strong enough to bring you back, too, though. The Firewine Ruins might be quite the death trap for the inexperienced adventurer. I need to remember that, and don't blame old Spin if you lose a few of your fellows stumbling about within. What else can you tell me of it? What, do I look like I'd be fool enough to go tromping about in such a place? Not likely. You want more info, you go talk to them halflings in Gullican. They'll be curious about such things and will probably help you. I warn you again though, it ain't no place for a young'un. You go there and you're just looking for tough trouble. Best you cut your teeth somewhere else before you throw your lives down that hole. And what of Baragost? Anything interesting here? Hereabouts, the Temple to the East can be an interesting view, if you like that sort of thing. I don't. Don't like much, actually. I don't think I like you either. Eh, yeah, leave me to my reading. Okay. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Yep. You're a queer fellow. Yep. I've done Emoine. Ooh, nice! A mace. Sure, someone can use that effectively. Dagger. Less nice. Okay. Cool. Got a nice mace from things. What does? This is a jauntus. Uses a bastard sword, and Khalid uses a long sword, and Jahira uses a staff. What does she have? She has quarterstaff, sling club. He has sword, axe, longbow. Ajantus has bastard sword, two headed sword, longbow. Not really. One, one's really rocking that mace. Identify spell. Does it have to be on her in order for me to that identify spell? It does. Okay, so the stupefier is a mace of stunning. This mace isn't just sleek and elegant, it's stunning. With a shot just to the right spot, it can render a foe completely paralytic. 10% chance per hit of stunning the target for one round. That's pretty good. What does... Let's... So... No one except for Ajantus and uh, Kali can my it. Honor is my so... Ajantus... The Bastard Sword does 2d4, so this will be a decrease, and it will go from 17 to 19. It will go from 19 to 21. It's pretty rough, too. 1d8. 4. Um, I think I'm okay with that, though. We'll do that. Throw a mace on there. Not really doing that yep. much damage, anyways. 
Okay. Here, uh... All these contraptions. Okay, I think I have been to everywhere in... Baragost, which is cool. Now let's go kill some stuff. We haven't gone up here. Let's go up here real quick. Let's see if we can get inside. We'll... we'll now that uh, Imowen has a level, maybe she can actually pick the lock. And we still need to go to uh, Smithy. This Away with you, Hold your place. No need for us to get off on the wrong foot. I rather like company occasionally, but most of the town folks are a bit standoffish. I don't understand why, sir. You have a lovely home and seem quite amiable. Perhaps it's because of those two guards you employ. That is an unfortunate possibility. They do seem to take a touch too much pleasure from their positions, but I'd sooner have them than not. I doubt I should feel safe without them. What with the banditry rampant about the countryside? Mayhaps, when things have settled, I can maintain a more open house. Leave me, please. As a member of the town council, there is much that weighs on my mind. Away with you, beggar. Okay. Away with you, beggar. Are there just books on books on books here? I don't think I want to... I, I don't want to do another 15 sessions of reading. So I'm going to skip... The, I, I told you, right? I told you guys earlier. I'm already skipping. Um, looking for a loop. That's cool. That I want. Nothing in that one. It's just rows of clothing. Clothing rags. Um, okay, this is cool though. We'll have a wand that we can identify. I will come back at a later date and probably read the books, but I don't really want to do it right now. Okay. Easy peasy. Carl and Jurgen. I'm gone. All right. Uh, let's pop this over That's to one. her real quick. To Nira. Nira can try to identify this. Wand of Lightning. The possessor of the wand can discharge a bolt of lightning. As it passes through a creature, it does 66 points of damage with a save versus wand for half. The bolt will continue through the target and proceed to rebound until expended. So, bolt of Wand of Lightning. Super strong. Also super fucking dangerous. Like, very, very fucking dangerous. And hard to control. So that's an item that we're super interested in. But uh, we gotta use that with extreme caution. Oh, we want to come back down to here. Before we leave and talk to uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, the Thunder Hammer guy. Um, I don't remember if we did one. I guess we did. I probably need to sell these bandit scalps, but I think I'm going to look up whether or not uh, they're worth or selling to a specific person. Terum Furim. Anything to sell? Now, does he have anything interesting? Got Mace plus one. He's got Barrel's Retort. Nice axe. Okay. 
Got some daggers plus one. Sling plus one. Quarterstaff plus one. Longsword plus one. Short sword plus one. Rows of ice and biting. Good stuff. Leather armor plus one could be pretty cool. Or Jahira. All shields could be cool. Hmm. Shadow armor. Plus three shadow armor. Ooh, full plate. The army scythe. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy crossbow. And a dagger of venom. Oh, man. All right. So we'll keep that in mind as we accrue coin. We'll keep in mind this location's many, many options. So we've got the high house or high hedge. Uh, we've completed this area. Let's go to the temple area. And uh, actually, before we get to invest in that, I'm going to go ahead and bring this particular episode to a close. Um, I'll see you all next time. Peace.